Let's talk about wigs. You may or may not notice that currently I am rocking a pixie cut and that's because I recently shaved my head. So obviously I started wearing wigs to compensate. That is actually a lie. I was wearing wigs for a very long time. Before then, shaving my hair actually made that 10 times easier. The problem, however, is that even with my hair being this short and even with so much experience under my belt, wigs can still remain very tricky. Wig application is probably one of the most tedious things ever because you might be thinking that, great, now that I have a wig, I can just throw it on and I don't have to touch my hair at all, which would be a very, very great. It would be such a great thing if it was real. The sad thing is the movies don't really help because when you watch Hannah Montana the movie, when she reveals her true identity, her real hair is clipped up underneath with a claw clip. I don't... Mm. Point is, it is not technically that easy. If you want that really flawless, beautiful, literally hair growing out of your head effect wig, it can take up to three hours to install it. There are several, several, several pros here on YouTube who have absolutely mastered the art of laying a wig. The problem with that is it does take considerable skill to be able to do that up to that extent. There is a reason why if you want to go to a professional for, the, for them to lay the wig on you, they might charge you $300 without anything included like you have to get your own tools you have to have your hair done you have to have the wig that you want coming with you they will charge 300 just to apply it and they deserve it because it's a very tedious process second is that it takes a long time to do it is it is a semi tedious process the third thing and this is kind of the main factor for a lot of people is that wigs tend to give you headaches big ones big wigs are my favorite thing to wear and my least favorite thing to wear and i'm being fully candid fully honest over here they 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 will they will give you a headache my preference when it came to wig application was something very quick very lazy take it on take it off whatever until i came across this video on my instagram explore page by gretchen makes wig and she posted this video where she was sewing clips onto the edge of her wig. Can it be? Can you sew clips onto the hairline of a wig and just clip it on and go? That's what we're here to find out today. Oh my God, I changed? No, this is actually the past. I'm filming this on the 11th of November. I'm going abroad tomorrow and I really like to wear wigs when I'm abroad because I feel like if I have these multi hundred dollar garments, why wear them you know that's that's the way i see things my issue with wearing wigs abroad is the fact that to lay a wig to wear a wig well which means you don't have to conceal it with a headband or a hat or a scarf or something you need to lay the wig down and normally that is a very tedious process and it also makes my head ache very much so i am determined to find a way to wear a wig comfortably but very 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 quickly but still have it look very natural. This is the lovely wig we're working with today. It used to be this wig, but I diluted a bit of deep red dye, semi-permanent dye and water, and I soaked it in it for like five minutes. And now it's a baby pink color. I really like that. So here's how it looks without anything. It's extremely easy to remove. And yeah, I mean, there's definite, gapping which is not ideal it's like one of my favorite things to see if someone's wearing a wig in real life i'm like can i see your gap yes i can that's a wig now we're going to try method two and when i i've never thought of this i've never had a wig sold to me like this i've never seen it done personally by anyone little clips along the hairline of the wig this is an extension piece it you use it you know if you want bangs it's really cool with these teeny tiny clasping clips. So they are common in the hair world. I've just never, ever, ever seen it adhered or sewn onto the hairline of a wig. Beyond excited to try this. Um, I had clips somewhere, but I don't know where they are. So I'm actually going to harvest them from this. I'm nervous with excitement. I haven't been this excited 
since the last time I created here in Exorcist. This, this feels like innovation to me. Kind of right above where my ear hole would be, right? Load up the needle. Here are the things you need. Your wig. These things for each ear. Scissors, needle and thread. Ideally, the thread is either skin tone or clear. Clear is probably best. This is a curved needle that is usually used for weft work and wig work. You definitely do not need one of these. So kind of like a half centimeter away from the edge of it. If this is stupid, I'm gonna be very disappointed, but if it's smart, then watch out, bitches. Okay, we can now tie this off. Boom, unclip. Boom, clip back. Now, because I'm gonna be an absolute rubbish seamstress, I'm not going to try it on. I'm just going to proceed with the next one because I'm beyond excited. Okay. Moment of truth. There's still gapping, like you can still very much see there's gapping right there. Fuck. It's not flying off my head. I'm gonna blow dry this wig really, really quickly because it, at the moment it's not giving anything in terms of shape. Um, and then we're going to see just how well we can get away with nothing but clips. This wig blends into my skin tone too much. I might have picked the wrong one. The idea was that I'd be able to wear this without doing my makeup, but that's not what we're judging today. We're judging whether we're able to wear this without any further adhesion. Again, nothing is actually adhered to my skin. It is simply clipped in right there. And just be my excitement talking, but I do think it works. So here's how it's looking now. 7.15. Oh no, how long will it take me to take it off? I feel like I'm advertising something, even though the only thing I'm advertising is my arts and crafts. All right, now the only thing left to do is go abroad and see how well this fares in Portuguese weather. I'm also curious, I'm going for five days, I'm not taking anything but a hairbrush with me, so I'm curious how long these waves will hold up. And then obviously for days where you don't want to clip in your wig, you just... Cheat the system, baby. <laughs> Go on holiday. It won't. You're gonna... Here's our beautiful Portuguese wig with our makeshift clips. Now, I've been wanting to wear it this whole trip, but it turns out it's pissing it down, which is unfortunate. So, we're gonna put it on now and see if it looks okay. <laughs> it's time to clip it in. And that's it. 
that took 30 seconds at best. Now, I did store this wig the entire trip by the bathroom, which completely removed my beautiful curls, which is unfortunate and also made it the size of my head. But otherwise, I think it looks freaking cute. There is obviously still gapage right there, but there is also my baby hair poking through. So it semi looks natural from a distance, I think. On an iPhone camera setting, it looks okay. It looks cute, other than the rain absently kissing it down. But nice Portuguese weather is competing with the Maltese weather. Yeah, I'm so. I'm so. <laughs> <clears throat> so here's the wig today obviously i had to restyle it since her rendezvous to portugal because portuguese weather did not benefit her but throughout the entire trip i did not wear a wig cap once because it gives me headaches i hate them so i just clipped her in and off i went now i'm gonna pop her on one more time with full glab because i really want to see can you get away with it even if you want to go for a night out for a fun evening for anything can you just throw on this wig and be off to go because if this is the next thing i want to be on top of it i i want i want to i want to know i want to learn I'm not wearing a wig cap again today. So I want to just see if I don't wear a wig cap, what happens? in the fab or what that took all of five seconds to install this is a really really easy simple hack if you want to get into wig it is not perfect do not take my word this is not a perfect solution it can look unrealistic if you come up close like you can definitely see it's not attached so you will have to style it accordingly in this case i would recommend blowing it forward with a round brush that'll help build volume as well as disguise the kind of hairline a tiny bit second of all it will cause traction alopecia also known as the hair loss around the hairline or anywhere else but it is incredibly quick it is incredibly easy and it is a kind of more foolproof way of wearing a wig instead of just throwing it on and leaving it like that wigs are beautiful they are stunning they are an incredible 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 way of you living out kind of your best life with a new head of hair and you can change that hair whenever the hell you want anyways that is it guys i hope this will help you and i hope you start wearing wigs they are beautiful they're amazing okay i'm off to dinner now i won't be going like this but this is cute no here i'll show you my outfit it's giving um, sexy corporate, you know? Ooh, subscribe if you haven't already. I will give you all the tips and tricks you need to live your best hair experience, your best wig experience, and help you spend money on wigs like I do religiously. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go, and I'll see you in my next video.